Welcome to the exciting world of SAS if statements. One of the most common questions I get from students is how do I fix my data? So let's take an example here. I have a lib name statement. Here's the directory where my data are held. I read in the data from that directory from this data set. I create a new data set. Call it EdEQ for no better reason here. And I'm going to keep all these variables. Great, I have my data. And I run it. I do a proc means and I check out my data and it is not exactly how I expect. So brother's highest education is 55, sister's highest education is 55, and so on. So that can't be right. And I go and I look at the code book and I see it says if they had less than first class, I guess that's less than the first year, that they were counted as 55. But all the others were zero years of education, one up to 16. So I want to throw out those 55s. I want to put those as missing values. Also, I decide, you know, I only want to look for this analysis at people who are literate. So I'm going to have literacy, which here is zero, you are not, or one, you are. I only want the people who have a value of one. So notice here, I've got 39,397 people and education for brother, sister, brother-in-law, sister-in-law goes up to 55. First, I'm going to change the value of variables with an if-then statement, which has an if and a then. That's why it's called an if-then statement. So if EW18 equals 55, then EW18 equals missing. The period is a symbol for missing data for a numeric variable. And if EW18B equals 55, then EW18B equals missing, and so on all down the line. Now I'm going to put in a subsetting if statement. What a subsetting if statement does is if the record doesn't match this, whatever the if condition is, then it's deleted from the data set. So if ED2 equals 1, it will be in the data set. So now let's run this. Notice something here. First of all, instead of 39,000 observations, I have 24,000. That's because of that subsetting if. Let's look down here at our literacy. Literacy was before it was 0 and 1, but now it's just 1. Again, because of our subsetting if. Over here... On the education side, I can see that brothers, ed highest education, sisters, and so on only goes 0 to 16. So that's two ways to use an if to set data to missing or to subset your data set. Now let's say instead that we wanted to set data to a different value. Let's say I said, well, you know, it says if it's less than one year of education, so let's not set it to missing. Let's set it to 0.5 and keep that data. Okay, so let's do that. It's the exact same format, just instead of setting it to missing, you give it a value. Right again. I have slightly more people now because I didn't, I didn't set those to missing for the highest education but it still goes from 0 to 16. So those are three examples of using an if statement to change the value of a variable, either like this to a specific value, or here to missing, and a subset of if statement to only retain records that meet a specific criteria.